Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're pulling into Roswell, New Mexico. Home of the UFOs. <laughs> I know it's a tourist trap. I've heard mixed reviews on it. There's an RV park there right on the right. But, um, it's on the way, so I thought I'd check it out. I would not have made a special trip just to see this town, but you always hear about Roswell and the UFOs, the museum. It's been on a ton of TV shows and all that, so anyway, let's check it out. Wadden White Sands National Park, cool. That was really neat to see all that white sand. All right, we're going to cut through Roswell here. This is just going to be a quick stop. Going to check out the museum, then we're going to keep on trucking. We're going to head over towards Texas. And I'm almost running behind time to get out to see family, so once we get through Roswell, I'm supposed to be running into some really high winds going through Texas, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Play it by ear. But this is the precursor to the big trip. We'll call this the bonus spring trip 2021. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, I'm following my phone here, heading for that museum. I know very little about Roswell except, like everyone else, what you see on TV about all the UFOs, the crash landing in the 40s that was reported, and then it turned into be a hoax and a cover-up. A lot of people have kept the conspiracy theories floating through the years. I guess this museum is pretty cool. I I'd, I'd seen it actually on that Expedition Unknown TV show here just recently. All right, the museum's actually off to the right. I'm gonna go up here to their visitor center. It's supposed to have public parking up here, find a place to park, and then we'll walk the streets of Roswell. <laughs> see uh, UFO uh, alien stuff in the windows of the stores. Alright, I think up by this big building, according to the phone, I'm here. It's the visitor area. There's the parking lot. That little building there. There's our visitor center. Alright, get turned around get parked then we'll go for a walk free parking it's even big enough to fit the van there's a motorhome back there behind this building that's a gift shop what they call visitor center here's the sign greetings from Roswell See it for yourself. Yeah, I don't need no t-shirts. Alright, let's go for a walk. Look, green grass. Don't see that. Wow, that's a nice looking capital or courthouse, I guess. That's an old timer. What's this? Roswell Pioneer Plaza. About their downtown area here. That is a county courthouse across the street, built in 1911. Wow. That thing is neat. Look at the dome on it. All brick with a big dome. Pretty cool. It shows the public parking 
figured just walk a couple blocks instead of trying to park in the street with that big old van. Make it much easier. Looks like downtown's alive here. People, a lot of cars. And we got shops. Some of these look closed. Oh wow, look at the mural. Must be a restaurant. Can eat with the aliens. <laughs> it's a pretty good mural. Fiddle griddle. There you go. I'll be darned. Well, the amount of tourism this thing uh, attracts. Goodness. I mean, it's been on every TV program I've ever seen for years. Anything has to do with UFOs. What's this? It's closed. Old artifacts, some rocks. And this old stuff. Cut. That's not the museum. We're looking for the UFO museum. Well, they got a t shirt place there. Make your shirts. I don't need no more shirts. This is an old town. Some of these shops are open, some are closed. Oh, look at that. E.T. Flying saucers. Huh. <laughs> cool. Wait. That museum should be right up here. This place is open. No, I don't want to go in the stores and all the COVID stuff. We'll just window shop. Antiques. I'm an antique. Yeah, a bunch of stuff I don't need. A lot of arts and crafts. See, now this one's closed. International Year of Caves. Huh. Must have aliens and caves here. <laughs> and a Subway sandwich. Funny. Here you go. Here's a museum. We made it. Wonder how many selfies have been taken with this big old uh, picture here. I guess you can sit here and wait for the spaceship to land right there. <laughs> Roswell, we believe. I believe they'll get my money. Okay, let's go on in the museum. Nice van there. A lot of people getting vans nowadays. More ET. All right, this is the official UFO Museum, Roswell, New Mexico. Be kind of cool. I've seen this on uh, a couple shows on TV. 
and all the COVID stuff. Okay. Well, what do you say? Want to go in? Let's do it. Taking temperature. Temperature. See if I'm above room temperature. temperature. Added all three dollars for a senior, five bucks regular admission. All right, well, let's get started. 1947 Roswell UFO incident. Oh. Boy, them guys. Look at that. <laughs> Roswell. What do they got here? Some old machines. Looks like this is their storyline. Different dates, how it happened. Huh. So you just follow the story. By each date. How it all transpired. Look at that. You're into this stuff. You could spend quite a bit of time. You could read every one of those. No. Strategic Missile Squadron. Huh. I don't know what that has to do with UFOs. A lot of movies. They're out metal detecting, looking for UFO fragments, probably. The movie Roswell, Martin Sheen, look at that. I'll be darned. And what we have here, oh no, little E.T. in the bubble. Pretty well done display. I mean, they've spent some time and bucks on this stuff. Big painting of the crash. Oh goodness. The operating room. Huh. And looks like some artwork. Petroglyphs. There you go. Alien petroglyphs. Looks like a bad hair day for them, huh? <laughs> wow. Pretty well done. Sorry, the camera's kind of going in and out. The lighting in here isn't the best. It's maintaining somewhat. Close encounters of a third kind. Fourth kind. <laughs> A lot of people believe in this. I don't know if I do or not. Alien implants. Huh. All right, I believe. Look at these guys. Like an old family reunion or something there, huh? <laughs> oh, they're out of a movie. Cool. Off a movie set. And 
just more info. What a collection. This has taken some time to put all this together. I bet people have donated to them. Oh, look at all the paintings. Wow, that'd be cool. Well done. Glad I stopped. Another poster from the movie. Star Wars stuff. And what do we got up here? Gift shop. Penny Pincher. Here's the gift shop. Well, I definitely don't need t-shirts or coffee mugs. Or hats. Look at the blue walls. That's quite the color and the green posts. All right, well, we've seen it. Roswell Museum. Well, this is actually a cool old small town. <laughs> small town USA with a, just a unique story. Dating clear back into World War II and the UFOs and the Army and the Air Force, government. And it still goes on, what, 70 some years later. They're still thriving on it. That's good. Look at all the stickers on the sign. All right. Well, back to the van we go. It's a nice day today, but I'm supposed to hit some really high winds. and It's still springtime in the central part of America. Tornado Alley, all that thunderstorms. The weather heating up. <coughs> Weather's going to be changing by the minute. Nice little park here. That's really nice. They have this big of a parking area over here. Then you can just walk to downtown. looking statue here Mexican food that sounds good well it's early enough I still got some time to do some miles I'm gonna try to get on over to Texas Going to follow this U.S. Highway 380 to get out of Roswell here. Then once I get in Texas, going to shoot straight on up to Oklahoma. Going to take a few days off. Visit with the family. And what do we have here? Welcome to Texas. There's the Texas state line. Look at that. I see a big old sign up here. What does it say? Welcome to Texas, y'all. <laughs> Talk soon. <laughs>